fish market and you're trying to find fish that's good, smell it. If you go, oh, that smells like fish, then you're holding old fish in your hand. If you smell it and you go, I can't smell, I can't smell anything. It's because fresh fish doesn't smell like fish. And if you've ever eaten swordfish and it has a fishy flavor, it wasn't fresh. So we're gonna be very simple. Um, I'm gonna season half of them with original Everglades. Just like that. There you go. And these are very thick. So I can go liberal with my seasoning on the outside. And then, you've never seen me use this. That's the Everglades heat. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Season some of these. You could use the Everglades heat uh, to like blacken fish. You could blacken this and use the Everglades heat as a blackening season, like a jerk spice. Or just a little bit of, just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of spice in your life. To kick it up a notch, I'm gonna make a coconut rum glaze to go over top of that fish. That's just gonna give it a melt in your mouth flavor. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna take a half a stick of sweet cream salted butter. I want that to start melting. We very rarely have alcohol in any of our, our videos. And whenever I cook with alcohol like this, uh, this is Captain Morgan coconut rum. All the alcohol is gonna evaporate out. This is just at a high boil, just like that. You can smell the alcohol coming out. Turn it down just a hair. Now this is Coco Lopez Pino Colado mix, man. Just, gonna, just like that. Reduce the heat down to very low, about as low as I can get it. And I'm just gonna let that fall in love. All we've got, butter, a little bit of salt, coconut rum, pina colada mix. When we're done with this fish, drizzle that over the top. It's gonna give it just a wonderful, sweet flavor. And it's gonna be like the icing on the cake to a great day or a great weekend down in the Florida Keys with my wife and Uncle Larry. Okay, so in one of the craziest turn of events ever, we talked to the neighbors over here. They were all excited about coming to dinner to be a part of Tasty Tuesday. Well, we got tons of corn. We got a pot of rice that I could feed like the seventh cavalry with. Tons of sauce, corn on the cob, fish, I mean, we're talking like 10 pounds of swordfish. So we're waiting on them, yell over to them, hey, y'all come in, and they're like, What's been an hour? Yeah, you, you're serious? Hey, yeah, we're serious. I don't want it to stick, so I'm gonna use a little, little olive oil pan. What's on the top shelf? This is all our corn. Um, I get four pieces of corn, Sarah gets three, and Larry gets three. Just a little bit, just like that. Smells good. It's been cooking for probably five minutes, six minutes. That white meat. Oh, look how nice that is. Okay. Uh, yes. It's white meat. Considered white meat. Look at that. That's just awesome. The key. I know so many of you watch our video for ideas and entertainment. I know our, our videos aren't like 
step-by-step -step recipes. This is just a lifestyle. This is us giving you ideas, giving you the courage just to try something new. The key to having good fish, making sure it's fresh. And the best way to know that it's fresh is to catch it yourself. All right, looks like we're all done here. Do not want to overcook it. If you overcook it, you're going to dry it out and it'll just take away from that natural awesome flavor. So how do you know when it's done perfectly? Well, that's a good question. Okay, so this should just flake apart. You can see it's all nice and white, not translucent. That's good. What you're looking for, we did about five minutes per side. Take your rice, look how nice that is. Enough to feed an army. And this will be Sarah's. Take your fish, lay it right up against that. Piece of corn. Now you just take a little bit of your coconut rum glaze. We're going to top it off with some diced chives, just to give it some nice color. That's for my lovely wife. Alright Lord, I, I just thank you so much for the day. Thank you for such a great trip and weekend. Thank you for our strength and health, Lord. Thank you for Uncle Larry and his ambition and courage to go on this great journey. Lord, I thank you for it's all our many blessings, Lord. I pray that you watch over us and guide us and have your hand in all that we do. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. The dark, that's a, that's a bloodline in the middle. So is that You try to fishy? eat around that. Yeah, that's, that will have a little bit stronger flavor, so eat around that. Okay. Knocked us out of the park. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. That's so yummy. Unbelievable. Is it all right? Oh, man. You gotta try it. Mmm, that's so good. I like in the Bahamas. Ooh. No question, the difference between fresh swordfish and swordfish you buy in the store. Yeah, no doubt. It's incredible. Mm. Okay, so I've never, never had swordfish before. What I can say is, it's flaky. But it's solid. Like it doesn't just flake and like disappear and you have to like grab it all together. It flakes, but it's like thick chunks. And it's not mushy in your mouth, it's firm and good. Very good. I don't know what it would be comparable to though. The sauce is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wait till you try the sauce. Have you tasted it? Yeah, I haven't tasted oh, it. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Mm. And do you eat the skin or no? You can. There's a lot of um, fatty proteins and omega-3 oils in the skin, but the skin does have a little bit. Remy says she likes the omega-3. Remy's three. like, um, omega-3? Oh, hello. I love <laughs> omega-3. No. You already had your fair share today. Alright, well, the scoop is... We all think it was really good. That or we're just really, really hungry. What do you think, honey? I say two thumbs up. Thanks, Larry. Probably the best tasty Tuesday yet. Really yeah, I keep seeing that. And they keep getting better and better and better. Well, the truth of the matter is, I gotta get everybody in the shot. We appreciate you guys hanging out, being a part of it. Hopefully, we gotta set something out, set something up where some of y'all can come down here because. This is too good not to share. Thank you all for being a part of our lives. We love you and appreciate you. Thank you for, for the, all the support and the encouragement. 
and uh, please thumbs up on the video leave us a comment let us know what you think subscribe now